Alas, Clan Corla, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this bill, which deals with the winding up of the Residential Institutions Redress Board. Section 8 of the Act allowed the Board to take late applications for redress and said it was wholly appropriate that this was the case. There was no doubt a hesitancy on the part of some victims to come forward to discuss the unspeakable and evil abuse that had happened to them. In many cases, I am sure that the victims did not have the courage to speak out until they had seen others do so first and achieve some success in their search for justice. The extension of the original deadline for applications in exceptional circumstances allowed those people the time and space they needed to tell their story. It is now, however, six years since the original, six, since the original extended deadline and the board is being wound down. I understand that as of May 2011, the board had received 15,135 applications, of which 14,592 have been finalised, leading to 13,669 awards. It should be noted also that many people achieved recognition from the redress board but refused their award. It is very welcome that the Minister for Education, Rory Quinn, has allowed the Board to continue to accept late applications for redress in exceptional circumstances until the 17th of September 2011. I note that it is planned to advertise this fact in two Irish and two UK daily papers six weeks in advance of the fact. I ask the Minister to expand this advertisement programme in recognition of the fact that not everyone affected might have seen these ads. I ask the Minister to examine the feasibility of radio and TV advertisements in addition to the newspaper ads. I support the call of the Minister for the religious institutions to contribute to the overall bill on a 50-50 basis. I understand that religious, some, certain religious orders have made property offers to the state and that the government is considering them. I wonder if the Minister would provide an update as to the progress on this matter. Yesterday saw the publication of the clawing report and the release of some very distressing evidence of the abuse which has taken place in this country. We should remember that the publication of reports such as this one and of course the Ryan and the Murphy reports brings about a terrible reminder for the victims concerned. They should know that their participation in such reports represents a great service to this state in opening up the truth about what happened. It is beyond belief that still, to this day, individuals in the church do not understand that you do not abuse children. It is that simple. You do not abuse children physically, emotionally, or sexually. It is really beyond belief that senior members of the church orchestrated to withhold information from the authorities and to compound the issue by making victims substantiate and prove their stories. The church authorities should now bow their heads in shame as they have to be dragged through the various commissions of inquiry. The Ferns report, the Dublin report, the Ryan and the Murphy and now the Cloyne reports are disgraceful litanies of child abuse carried out by the religious and the cover-up means a double crime was committed against these children. I support the call for the Thornish the yesterday for a comment from the Vatican in response to the Cloyne report and I understand that Archbishop Lianza said he would immediately bring a copy of the report to the attention of the Holy See. To finish on a more hopeful note, a really positive initiative has arisen since the publication of these various reports, namely legislation to require statutory compliance for the first time with the Children First Guidelines as recommended by the Ryan Report. Minister Francis Fitzgerald received Cabinet approval of this yesterday. The legislation will require all, all organisations and individuals working with children to share information with the statutory authorities where such information relates to child welfare or protection concerns. The message is simple, child abuse is morally wrong 
and it will not be tolerated. Sorry, Mila Mafia. Now calling Deputy Catherine Murphy.